Welcome to my channel. On this video, I'm going to show you how to make this card that I'm, I'm making for my mother for a birthday card, but you can use it for Mother's Day or any special occasion. I am calling it Butterfly Mania. Not only does it have three butterflies in the front, but the part that's fun about this one is you have butterflies that pop out all over the place. That's why I'm calling it Butterfly Mania. And uh, let's get started. All right, to get started, you're gonna need a cardstock. Right here, I have one that is, is done by eleven and a half. Sorry, eleven by five and a half, fold scored in half. All right. So I kind of wanted this card because most people have eight and a half by eleven cardstock. This is a little bit thicker cardstock, but that's what I'm using for this card. Then I have any kind of designer paper you want. This is a little less, it's about one eighth less than five and a half by five and a half squared. And the last piece we're gonna need is this is a four by a little less than five and a half because this is the part where what it's gonna hold in the butterflies. And as you can see, I have a lot. So you're gonna need a lot of small and big butterflies, assorted colors to make this card. Ooh, let's move this in a little better. I think there we got. Is that better? See all the butterflies? Yeah. Right, so that's what the, the next stage we're going to do. And so um, let's continue on. All right, we're going to take that paper that is four by a little less than five and a half, and I want you to score this every half inch. So we're going to go in here. It's like one half, one, one and a half two, two and a half, three, three and a half, and the rest is four. And then we're going to sit there and we're going to bend it back and forth like an accordion. And uh, if you have your burnish tool, put that out of the way, go ahead and do it. But this is This works for me. We're just going to go back and forth, back and forth, okay. Okay, the next step you're going to do, so we have it like this. These two sections, this one and on this side, are going to get glued down because I'll show you how it works. It, they'll get, this side will get glued to that side, that side, and you will see that the butterfly section will sit in the middle of here. So this is going to get glued down, these two sides because this is the final part. Now make sure that you get, totally understand this. Uh, we will glue it together right now. So we're going to glue right here, this section here. This will reinforce the card. That's why we're doing that. This is going to get folded here. I'm going to go to the other side and fold down here. We'll glue it and then fold it down. All right. So as you can see, make sure this gets folded down and glued. Make sure it's glued. So you'll see it looks like this now. Um, and the object is, now these two, right here. Now we're going to go up to the next section. And glue that down here. And we're going to go over here to the other section. Oops. So you got one section fold down, the other folded down, and when it's all glued, I'm going to show you what it looks like. All right, we're going to come in here and glue this down. It might seem a little confusing, and you'll just have to rewatch it, but um, it really isn't. Once you, you you you're actually making the card, you'll understand what I'm doing here. Okay, we're going to just fold this down. Okay, so that's looks now like this. Right. And this section, like I said, you might have to watch it again, but you're gluing the two edges underneath, then these two are glued together, and then this section is going to come on here and fit right here in half. So when you fold the card, it'll look like that, and when it opens up, it'll pop up the butterflies. So now the trick is you got to make sure that you put 
these two right on the edge where it folds. So you can do one half section at a time, which I kind of recommend. So we're going to do one section here. And I am using a good glue here because it will come off. So I use my crafted glue. So let's make sure it's done even. Let's go in here. I'm trying to keep it on the camera so you see what I'm doing. All right, so if we go in here and tuck it in. Right, that should fold nicely. And we're going to come to this side and do this section here. All right, and we're making sure we get in here, make sure it's pushed as much as you can in this section here. All right. And make sure your cart stays folded right. Good on all sections. We could open it up. Okay, it slid, so you just come back and do it again until it's in there right. I don't want it sliding. So I'm going to do this off camera. I'll come back and show you. Okay, so now I got it in there. When you open it up, see this section is where we're going to put some acetate to hold the butterflies right in here. So right now I have a stencil. You can use any kind of stencil you want, or you actually could put designer paper. But I, this is what I did, and I am using a different color for this one because I had garden green. But any kind of, um, this is a water-based dye from Sampin' Up, but you don't have to use this. Just any kind of green that you like. And so I'm going to come in in any kind of stencil, and I'll put the stencil kind of in the center. And I'm going to use my dauber and just go in all the way around the edges, darker. As I gradually go into the center, it'll be lighter when I go into the center. But on the edges, all around the card, on both sides, I'm using a dabber and making it darker. And then I'll go in lighter as I go into the center of it. All right. And I will do this on both sides of the card. Now, um, I wanted to make, this is the only one I had, I wanted to make it look like if I had a different one with leaves or something, that's exactly what I would have used. Um, and let's go a little darker on the edge. Make sure there's that noticeable that you want to see the gradual changes of color when you get towards the center. Let's see. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Um, yeah, I think now well, there's one little section I don't totally like, and I would come back just try to line it up the best you can, and right, just go here. I just want to come in this one a little bit more. Just make it a little bit of circle. Let's try that. Yeah, that's good. And I'm gonna go over here and do the same thing. Like I was saying earlier, this is a birthday card for my mom, but uh, it doesn't have to be. This is so nice for Mother's Day or, you know, a spring card or, yeah, it's, it could be used anytime. It's, it's a nice card for Mother's Day, too. I had just made, I mean, I had made mine. This is the second one I'm working on um, to show you. And I wanted to do it a little bit differently, so the papers are a little bit different, and the... Um, the dye, or the ink I should say, is a different ink. This is a little lighter, like I guess it's more um, vintage looking, and the other one's more uh, stronger green that I used for the other card. All right, so that's not bad. You don't have a complete circle. Um, I just wanted, th so this is where you're basically gonna put, if you wanna put um, happy birthday, happy Mother's Day, you can shove it anywhere in here. And you can also go to the front of it and add Happy Mother's Day to the front of this too. So um, I am going to also edge it all. I kind of like the green part. So I'm actually going to, I might even edge in here. And I'm going to edge all the way around it. Probably the front and the back. Even this part here. So we're 
here. And I'm going to come in. There's the designer paper that I told you was just a little bit square, five and a half by five and a half, a little less. Um, I'm actually going to ink the edge of this too. And like I said, if you, this is um, called Olive Green, this one. I used uh, Garden Green on the first card I did. Now, I'm not going to put anything in here because... Oh, a little rough, but... Actually, if you make a mistake like I just did, I kind of come in and just blend all the edges even stronger. So you never even know you over-inked it a little bit. Just come in a little longer. Okay, so let me glue this on. All right. Don't put this glue on too thick because it is not... Um, I just don't want any... I don't know how to explain it to you. Okay, so I'm going to line this up. All right. That looks pretty good. I don't have my bone folder with me, but yes, I would use the bone folder if I had it. All right. I don't grab everything out when I'm doing these videos, so I wish I would have. But, all right, and this is the, the butterfly I chose. I actually go in the opposite direction of the other one. This one I went here, the first one I did, and I'm thinking, well, maybe I'll do the opposite direction. But I'm gonna grab my card and see if I like that idea. That's this one, I think you can see it. And I'm gonna do this butterfly. So I'm gonna put this one down first. I'm gonna let this dry. Okay. All right, where I've left the section right in here, that's where you're gonna put five of these. They're half inch acetate paper. Um, it has to be at least, okay, I'm doing six half inch acetate papers and they're gonna get inserted in here and they have to be at least the length of a five and a half or le like a little less. You'll see as I do it, but we're gonna glue that in next. So um, these, let's see how long it is pretty long I'll clip them after but that's the point right here we're gonna just take some glue and glue one by one in it let's put them all in here so glue all the way down the side and it works to be about five I used right here okay let's see if I can hold them in next one they stay in place and I'll continue on in a minute all right, it's got to dry for a couple minutes before we do the next stage. I finished letting these dry, and then I cut them down. But I'm going to have to cut them down more. And I did wipe them down, but I see a little bit more glue, so I'm going to come along. And as long as I don't wet the cardstock, you're good. Just take a little bit of paper towel and wipe the glue off. If you get that, if you're careful, then you might not get any. Now, the, the object is obviously, i got to put butterflies um, that will stay in. When I close the card, you don't want to see any of the butterflies. That's the surprise of the card. Like for instance, this one, I'm going to cut down way down here. I'm going to glue it and then you also have the matching butterfly that you have because you're going to match it on the back side once you glue it to one section. So you're going to do all six sections here. Um, and I'm going to do that right now. Okay, so let's glue one. And so on and so on. There we go like that it's going to bend but we'll adjust these as we put all the butterflies on so i'm going to do one by one Make sure we don't see this plastic. Alright, it's closed. There we go. I'm going to 
adjust these. I'll come back in the end and adjust them all and talk on camera. Okay, so I added some um, sequences on certain areas. You don't have to decorate the same way as this. The whole point is put as many butterflies as you like. And whoever you're giving a card to, if they like butterflies, and give them as much as you think you should. Um, and this can be bent either way, going both sides of it when you open it up. All right, so if I shut this, let's see. All right, um, comes out a little bit. It's a little hanging out there. I could bring them in. I probably will. I'll just move them in a little bit. Just make sure that doesn't hang out. So all I got to do is move them down. That's all. Not a big deal. But when you pop it open, you know, there you have it. Right here, I would probably put a message or over here and, and get rid of the butterfly. I will probably be adding, like, this one's going to be blank when I need it for somebody else because th this first one's done for my mom. But this other one, I will probably touch it up and I'll add a couple things over on the sides of these ones, most likely. But for now, that's it. Enjoy making it. It's fun. Look at it. You can, like I said, you can just come in here and if you want to go that way, just bend it at the end and it'll fly that way. Whatever way you want to train it kind of to go, that's all you got to do. That one's going, that's flying really good. Just bend it, force it down a little bit, and see, it'll go down more. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. I had fun making this, and um, I hope you give it a try. So if you're new to my channel, please subscribe, and if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video, and have a great day. Bye for now.